What it is, y'all, it's your old boy Pilk, and it is really hard to believe it has already been a year. Like, it's been a year! We have had Konosuba on the global platform for a year now. Today is the anniversary. So, let's go check out what all is going on now. We do have new events, we have all that kind of stuff going on. Um, looks like we have some new recruitments to, to deal with. So, let's just explore the game, because it's been a while since we've just talked about the game all right so first things first up here uh we still have our panel missions i don't think we have any new ones no we do not uh i haven't completed those because lazy um if we go to notes though uh and i'm really bad about checking this i'm horrible about about checking this but this is where most of our stuff comes from we have first anniversary draw ticket present so let's take a look at that okay event Log in every day for 14 days straight to receive draw tickets that can be used to draw fantastic rewards starting 8-25 Thursday. Stay tuned for more details to come. So, login time is from, it says Tuesday 8-16, that's basically now, to uh, 8-29. So, uh, the reset time of the login bonus is every day. So... Daily login reward, you get a first anniversary ticket that actually started earlier. Uh, I got mine when I first logged in. Unfortunately, I didn't really record that session because uh, it just happens so fast. Okay, looks like they are, everything's doubled up here, so I don't think this is any different. No, it's literally the same thing. So I have to wade through duplicate uh, items in here. First anniversary countdown login bonus. There were some really good bonuses I saw on the login here, and it should tell us everything here. So first login, we get 500 quarts. Actually, it looks like we get 500 quarts for the next, what, nine, to, seven days. We, a week. A week of 500 quarts daily. That's pretty good quartz. That's really, really nice. Uh, let's take a look here. Uh, first anniversary episode updated daily. This is a basically a video you can watch every single day. I don't feel like it's really genuine content to just watch an episode. I know we've done it for some of the other games. Um, if you guys want to see the daily episodes, let me know. We can do that. Uh, I just maybe we'll upload that tomorrow morning or something. I just don't find that very interesting content. But if it's something you guys want to see, you let me know. I'll absolutely produce whatever you guys. If you guys are really honestly interested in seeing it, just let me know. That's basically how that goes. Triple drop rates and time limited events. So let's check this out. Okay. So starting today, uh, main quest hard is a triple treasure drop rate. So we want to take advantage of that. The main reason we want to take advantage of that is because if you're still trying to craft weapons, if you're still trying to get your level six items, if you're trying to get anything crafted, you guys know like some of those drop rates can suck they can be brutal so having triple drop rates is phenomenal all right uh triple red drop rate event part two is this different and then we get to some of the stuff the elite bounty hunt and all that stuff that we kind of already know uh okay so main quest hard is triple drop rate i don't think that's any different than one we just saw but whatever so content reset time battle arena oh it just there we go Battle Arena, Daily Missions, Stamina Recovery, Time Quest, Login Bonuses, all resets at zero, blah, 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 blah. So we have the Elite Bounty Hunt, we have the, the uh, Summer Special Part 3, and uh, more Swimsuit Characters uh, Set Part 3, so we'll go look at those here in a moment. Uh, and that, I think, yeah, because everything is uh, otherwise pre-registration. So there we go, we have, that's most of what we're getting. Um... If I'm honest, maybe it's just I'm a little spoiled by the current anniversaries, both in the other two games we're playing currently. Uh, I expected a little more, but it is what it is. Like, I can't argue with the results. So we do have the Elite Bounty Hunt uh, is back. Uh, Thunder Kraken. Um, I haven't really even messed around with this. I wanted to log in first and see what was going on with... Uh, yeah. See what was going on with, with all our... our uh, uh, events currently running. Um, it says Thunder Kraken, so I'm guessing it is going to be a Thunder or Lightning type. Um, I don't honestly know. It's probably something that we would want to cover in its own separate video. I really kind of more meant to come in here and just generally talk about uh, the anniversary. Battle Arena did reset the other night, and Battle Arena, since we haven't really talked about it, yes, my score last Battle Arena was atrocious. I just had really bad, really, really, really bad RNG. 
Uh, and I every single day, because most of the, most of that battle arena, like either I was sick or the kids were sick. It was just horrible timing. So I auto ran everything, and I never really built a proper team. Um, so here it says: Beware of lightning attacks and powerful super attacks. Enemies are relatively weak to bind attacks. So I'm I haven't gotten a really good score out of this yet, but I haven't really actually sat down and pondered this. Okay. So I'm trying the uh, the team here because uh, it does re uh, re recommend an Earth element. I tried the team of Wiz and uh, Megamine, but I realized I'm running the wrong Megamine. That's embarrassing. So I need to go put the correct uh, Megamine on here. That's probably part of why this uh, the score is so low. Let's take a look here. Let's swap her out. Main. Nope. Nope, we still need to swap her out. So let's get rid of... So everything else, basically what I did for this team, and I'll run a quick trial run uh, with the correct Megamine on here. Let's uh, go back in here. Boom. There we are. Um, I don't know if it's going to change anything, but basically this Megamine, because she has so many AoE attacks and things like that, uh, she tends to be pretty good. Obviously, we want to run uh, our skill one on her because you know you do want Earth Element. And I chose uh, the uh, Bunny C uh, Celio. Come back here. Come back, Cecily. Sorry. Come on. There you go. Uh, I chose the Bunny Cecily because she does have a bind attack. It did say bind attacks are effective. Now, I haven't had a huge amount of effect out of her, but she is maxed. The downside is I don't have a huge amount of affinity in her, so I need to go rectify that. But let's do a quick training session and see what happens here. Now, obviously, the goal would be to get uh, Megamine to, uh, to take out our other opponents fairly quickly. Megamine did not get the killing blow, and that would be the preference. I would love for Megamine to get the killing blow there. Let's see if we can uh, see what we can do here. Uh, oh, God. Megamine, come on. Anyway, uh, so Megan, there's no real way that Megamine would actually even get the killing blow with her SA there. So that's not even going to be a thing. Here we go. And then that saves the other SAs for, uh, uh, for basically everyone else in the fight. Okay. That is an Earth attack. Now, I took away her... Uh, uh, she has a big uh, magical debuff, and actually I think the biggest problem I have now is I probably need to get rid of Aqua and put on someone that has a magical debuff, but thus far it already looks like we're doing significantly better. There we go. Alright. That was perfect. Go girl. Let's see if her bind attack does anything because I'm not seeing a huge amount of effect out of uh, Cecily yet. Uh, here we go. She's going to get her SA. SA is going to bolster. Uh, ooh. Ooh, that was not pretty. Now we got two healers on. And that's. I don't know. It actually might work out, but the numbers have slowed down significantly. Um, maybe the bind attack isn't quite so effective. I really will need to go back in here and, and just. Yeah, those numbers are atrocious. Absolutely bad absolutely bad so definitely not a viable circumstance and we do want to kind of reapproach that in another way but as i said the one thing that i had a uh, problem with here is i don't know if i have an earth unit i really need to take uh this aqua out and put on an earth unit that uh that lowers um magic defense and that probably would make this a little bit easier probably put that unit on there and then bring in Cecily would probably yield some better uh, better numbers but I've got to continue to play with this a little bit I have not perfected my team and my goal is always just with whatever team I've got to get into the top 5,000 so that probably is going to take a little bit longer to produce plus you can see there my equips are way behind I've been really bad and really lazy about farming so it is just one of those things that I've got to, uh, to work on. All right, finally, let's talk about the recruits because I saw these recruits, but I haven't really actually looked at the recruits. So making summer memories recruit. Now, I believe, yes. So we have the two here. Okay, so this one, 
Uh, Iris Splendid Sunlight. Now, she's a wind unit. Uh, and if the other one's Thunder, I would think that you'd be using Earth. But looks like wind is uh, what, uh, what we're dealing with right now. Wind Physical. Okay. Skills are 179 when physical attack to one enemy, 242 when HP is above 70%, and moderate boost to your agility. So that's a really stellar skill. Cooldown 21 seconds is a good cooldown. Um, I've often been critical of that cooldown, but with that much effect, it's a, stand that's, it's a really solid cooldown. Okay, 134 when physical attack to one enemy, it's a significant boost to your physical attack. So really, physical is massively bolstered with this unit. Okay. She also, even with her, her just general trait it, at level 5, is a plus 6 attack when using physical attack. So she's very good. Okay, Aroway. You can already see right now, Aroway has a great skill. 179% win magic damage to one enemy, and 242 when HP is above 70%, and minor boost to allies super gauge. Very, very, very strong skill there. 197% win magic damage to one enemy and moderate reduction of your skill's cooldown time, which is amazing. And then, uh, even for her base, she gets 113% win magic damage and 6% when using magic attacks. So there's somebody on this team that's going to basically bolster physical attack and one that bolsters magic. I do need to do some summons on this, but I also need to farm up some quartz, so we'll do some limited summons here. But first, let's go look at the other banner. Because it looks like this dropped two banners, oddly. Now, we do also have this uh, the, the freebie here. This is going away in four days. Um, I'm going to save these in the, the hope that we can do a live stream coming up here really soon. So I'm going to try to hold off on doing these until the live stream. Uh, but for now, let's check out this other banner. Because I believe this is still part of that extended banner. So this is going for 14 days. So I believe this is still part of that. Info. Uh, Celio, Summer Explorer. All right. Once again, we have a lot of traits on the first skill. Looks like we have something defensively. So she does 170%. Ooh, only a 19 second cooldown, which is nice. 170% water magic damage to one enemy. Uh, 228 when HP is above 70% and moderate reduction of their magic defense. I needed that magic defense reduction for that team. That's phenomenal. Uh, her second skill is moderate recovery for all allies, moderate boost to your magic to attack for 10 seconds, and uh, so it's a recovery and a magic booster. It's phenomenal. And the cooldown's pretty high at 20, 24 seconds, but it is a heal skill, so you know those are going to tend to be a little bit higher. Character trait is 6% uh, attack when using water or wind attacks, which is really nice. And then we have Erica, who is a physical water unit. 113% uh, water physical damage to all enemies in the AoE skill, and moderate boost to agility for 12 seconds. Uh, that's a 20 second cooldown. Now check this out. Marine Edge is a 13 second cooldown. 154% when, uh, when physical damage to one enemy, 205 when HP is above 70%. Now she only has... Her skills are a little lower, but don't let that fool... I mean, I say a little lower. Every other unit we've had has had, like, two skills on their primary. But the main factor here, she has a really, 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 really low cooldown and the 205% attack here, which is really nice. So if you can keep her health up, she'll produce tons of damage. Okay? Also, 6% uh, to physical attack when she is attacking. Now, everyone on these banners looks like it's a four-star. Um... I'm going to do a couple of uh, summons real quick. We haven't gotten super lucky on summons lately, so I'm really hoping for some fire here. Or a fake out. Fake out would be nice, too. Um, oof, my luck in this game. It seems to dry it up. Let's do one more on this banner. We'll do one more on the other. I will farm up some quartz. We'll probably do some summons here when we do the live stream later on this week. Uh, the live stream will not be on Tuesday like they have been traditionally, or at least for the past few weeks. Um, I will probably do a late Thursday live stream, or either that or we'll, we'll replan it sometime, and I'll just have to announce that at a later time. But unfortunately, uh, because of some other uh, scheduling conflicts, I'm not going to be able to do it. Uh, on Tuesday night. All right. So nothing there. That banner did not produce. Let's go check out the other banner real quick. And then once again, um, I will uh, farm up some of the quartz that I'm chilling on. 
and we'll try to pull one of the units uh, on one of those other banners as well. So still got 23k after these two pulls. Really hoping for some fire here. Man, remember when I used to be able to pull four stars on these like crazy? What happened to my rates, y'all? One more time? Oof. Oof. You gonna fake me out here? Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, so we got a four star. It only took four summons to get a four star. Which, I mean, admittedly for the rates, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. It's been a long, long stint of, of bad luck recently. So can we get luckier? Can we pull one of the new units? That'd be phenomenal. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Def Maybe. Okay. Crimson Sunset Heart. I believe that's one of the new ones. Well, uh, yes, it be. So there you go. The Crimson Sunset ROA has joined our team. That is phenomenal. Let's double check her skills real quick. Uh, is she the one right here? Yes, she is. There we go. So phenomenal. That's great. So now all I've got to do is go in here and get Iris and then the other units, and we should be pretty stellar. I do like these units. These units look really, really, really good. So for a lot of you that have been chilling and sitting on Quartz, now is the time. Now, I do expect we'll probably get some paid banners and stuff like that coming up here soon. Uh, but for the moment, I mean, we have a ton of banners here. Anyway, there's a four-star guaranteed here. Uh, that is going for 11 days. So, yeah. Includes 2021 swimsuit characters. Special characters may appear again in the future. So these are some of the time-limited characters from last year. I don't know if that's going to be such a such an important banner to hit. Because some of those older units... I don't know. Now, to be fair, I actually could really use that Earth unit uh, with the Earth cooldown. Okay, so maybe. Maybe. Maybe, but that's paid only, and it is four-star guaranteed. But remember, those four-star guarantees don't guarantee a new unit. So there's a lot of stuff going on here, guys. Go check it out. Uh, this is first anniversary is here, uh, and we'll come back and we'll talk a little bit more about the uh, the bounty hunt, and of course the uh, uh, the new uh, 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 boss event, and we'll cover all those here coming up really soon. So like, comment, share. I'll see you guys shortly, and I'll. Sometime here shortly, announce when this week's live stream will actually be taking place.